Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, I got into something a little different here. We're going to take a break from the workshop and do some remodeling. Uh, I'm installing laminate floor and the planks I got are 8 inches wide, but my 10 inch saw will only cross cut about 6 inches, maybe just a little bit over. So we're going to modify the saw temporarily where it'll cross cut at least at a right angle. It'll cross cut 8 inches. So that's what we're doing today. It's a temporary fix, but it, uh, it's better than going out and buying a new saw. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Here's what we're looking at here. When it's all the way down, it lacks about two inches of cutting all the way across. So first thing we got to do is remove the original fence on this saw. It's got a, uh, this saw, uh, uh, this is a DeWalt saw. Other saws might be different. But the fence is held on by four uh, Torx head screws. Okay, I've got a piece of plywood here. It's about 14 by 21. The size is not critical. It needs to cover most of the base, but it's really not critical. And what I want to do is, I'm going to cut through that eventually, but I want to establish where that saw is cutting through the plywood. So make it almost to the back, but pull it away a little bit. Lock the saw in the down position. And then, let me zoom in on that. I want to mark right here. I've got the saw unplugged. Mark right here and right here on the plywood. It shows how wide it'll cut. So now I've got a line right here and right here that will establish how far I can cut right here. And that's well over eight inches. We're gonna do the rest of it in the basement, in my basement shop. Okay, I'm back upstairs again. I forgot to take one measurement that's very important. Uh, lay a straight edge across here, it can be anything, and have it centered on the bolts where the fence bolted down. And then measure from here as far back on the saw as it'll go. And on this saw it's four inches. Four inches from here to the center of these bolts. Okay, we're back in the shop now. What we want to do is measure four inches from the back. Now remember we left a slight little space, like a quarter inch from the very back of the saw. So you measure four inches, make a line, Four inches. And be as accurate as you can, but it's not super critical. And you want to connect those two lines. Now, that's where we want to put these bolt holes. You can take a transfer punch if you want. I'm just going to eyeball that. Okay, I've got a spade bed in here. It's a uh, three-quarter inch. And I want to create a recess for this bolt here. So I'm going to drill the first hole and set my depth stop. Okay, that's probably deep enough. I've got my depth stop set, and we'll drill the rest of them. Uh, 
Okay, the size is uh, metric, equivalent to about three hundred thousandths. Five sixteenths would be a big enough hole, but I'm going to go slightly over. That way, if we need to square things up, we've got a little bit of adjustment. But I don't think we'll need to. Okay, this mark we made right there was the back of the saw. Remember we set the saw right there? That's how far back the saw will cut. So we're going to take that mark and add just a little bit. It's two and three eighths. We're going to go with two and a half. Make it as straight as possible. That's, that's going to be our fence. Okay, I'm going to glue this fence in place. Just like that. Now I've got some drywall screws. I'm going to hold it in place with a couple of screws. That way I can take the uh, clamps off and don't have to wait for that glue to dry. Ready to go back upstairs. Okay, now you just bolt it in place. Okay, I'll move the camera on the other side because it's a little easier to see, but we can check for squareness now, superficially anyway. And it looks like we're square, so we can go ahead and lock down these bolts. Okay, we're ready to make a plunge cut and then a test cut. Okay, we're going to do a test cut. As you can see, it will cut across the full eight inches. I think that's eight inches. Oh, it's eight and three quarter. That's about as close as you can get. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.